What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Last week, Apple dropped iOS 16.4 Beta 3, and today they are now dropping iOS 16.4 Beta 4. As you guys can see here, it is uploading. Due to the file size, it is only about 600 megs, and it will vary depending on your device, but based off that alone, this probably is not the RC build or release candidate build that should be coming in another beta release or so in another week or two possibly, um, but we are in the home stretch. Usually Apple releases about four or five or six betas just depending on how many bugs are found and how many opportunities are there. So again, having said this, this will not be the RC build that we are receiving today. So. Beyond all that, we know this comes with a whole bunch of new emojis, there's a ton of new stuff, but we are still waiting to see the Apple Pay Later, the Apple Savings Account, there's a ton of stuff that should be flipped on the back end or made readily available in more recent betas for iOS 16.4 um, GM release and all that. So, having said that, let's go ahead and take a look at it, let's see the build number, see if we see anything quickly new. Um, for those of you that follow the channel, you would know as well that iOS 16.4 developer beta 3 was phenomenal for us. It actually increased our productivity. We've actually had no issue with the overheating that we were getting prior um, and our battery life has improved for sure too. So let's go take a look. So jumping right into it, let's go into settings, general, about, and look at this build number for beta four, and you can see it is 20E5239B, and it's good to see a B there. Traditionally, the B build signifies it's getting closer to the end of our beta period, and we should be expecting the Golden Master or the RC, the release candidate version, in the very near future. So that is, again, good to see. Let's see if they've updated the release notes here for beta four, and you can see they have, and again, not going through all of them, but you can see again, there are still watch migration issues that are known. The beta enrollment changes is a new feature that we've talked about for the last couple of beta builds here. The core ML depreciations is again, nothing new. Uh, new features here, hang detection stays enabled after rebooting on developer settings. Under home, new features, both manual and automatic software update support is now available for matter accessories. That is good to see. There is still a ton of other new issues here, or known issues, I should say, but most of them do have those workarounds listed as well. iCloud Drive still has the same known issues, it looks like, file system APIs with workarounds. iCloud Drive might become unresponsive, restart your device as a workaround. Keyboard, we obviously still, again, have support for new Unicode 15 emojis. We've saw that since the last couple of builds as well. Autocorrect for the Cuban, or Korean keyboard. Ukrainian keyboard, these are all nothing new. MapKit has a resolved issue where they fix the improved performance of the MK overlay objects. Pages, numbers, and keynotes still have some known issues as well with workarounds, passkey, and authentication services. New features, web browser, this is nothing new. These are all listed as of prior beta builds also. So there are some other resolved issues where they fixed autofill in some cases. Um, Apple Pencil now has the ability to hover um, with tilt and amethyst support, or azimuth, excuse me. Safari web extensions have some new features, as well as resolved issues. SDA or SK Ad Network, resolved issues. Store Kit, Swift UI, yeah. So we're not going to go through all these, you get the idea. Um, some things have been remaining in these beta builds, so there's still some room for improvement before that release candidate does come out. You can see it's actually quite a lengthy list still. Swift UI, wallet, an error might occur when adding or presenting an ID card. I don't remember seeing that. It could have been there in the prior builds as well, though. It's the last item listed here. Okay. Another call out I actually brought up in our prior video for beta 3 was just how much cooler the phone actually remained. What I want to do is actually show you, though, that is actually somewhat not the case today. Um, it's running about 97, it was a little over 98 and almost closer to 99 earlier. Let's see if we can get anything different here. 94, so it's coming back down now, but um, it did get a little warm, obviously during install, but then even afterwards. Um, hopefully that is not gonna be a sign of things to come and they actually had some issues with this that we didn't experience on the last build. Beyond that, jumping through all the other settings, we haven't found anything new as expected. 
Let me check the wallet app to see if we actually have anything new for uh, Apple Savings or Apple Pay later. And it doesn't seem like anything else is actually there at all. Nothing new in the Add to Wallet screen either. So for the most part, what we're seeing is improvements to just the fluidity of the system as you would expect. But yeah, no issues with this build really yet. Obviously, we'll have to put it through its paces to see just how good the battery life does maintain. Hopefully, it'll stay just as well as Beta 3's was. But yeah, let us know if you find anything else in the comments down below, any new features. Again, usually at the point of Beta 4, we're not going to find anything new. It is just bug fixes. But thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.